Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to our LAM CAA assessment. And this time, we are now on the final leg of our assessment, uh, particularly our module five, basic anatomy and physiology. So we have week 10 now. We are on week 10 now. And uh, we will uh, grill you on lymphatic system, special senses, and the third installment of meridian pathways. Okay, let's go straight to the first one. Mam Ami, good morning. Ah, good morning, good evening. Good evening, po. good evening. What does number eight indicate? Uh, the left lymphatic duct. The supratrochlear. Lymph uh, are indicated by, by number? Number five. Which number indicates the thoracic duct? Number four. What does number six indicate? A uh, cisterna cilia. Yes, yeah, cisterna chylae. The inferior lymph nodes are indicated by number. Twelve. The spleen is indicated by number. Ten. Which number indicates the lumbar lymph nodes? Number eleven. What does number seven indicate? Uh, the red bone marrow. The axillary lymph nodes are indicated by number. Nine. The thymus is indicated by number. Three. Which number indicates the cervical lymph nodes? Number one. Where in the body are the lymphoid follicles known as pyre patches found? In small intestine. Number two indicates the? Right lymphatic duct. What does number 13 indicate? The pleteal lymph nodes. Lymphatic fluid in the area shaded gray in the diagram drains into the the into the right lymphatic nodes. Which of the following is one of the three main functions of the lymphatic system? Uh, is to help helps to maintain water balance. Okay. Yeah. What is the name of the clear fluid carried within lymph vessels? The lymphs. Lymph is initially formed from. Interstitial fluid. Interstitial fluid. The lymphatic vessels carry the lymph? Towards the heart. Very good. The lymph within the lymphatic vessels is eventually emptied into the bloodstream via? Via subclavial veins. The movement of lymph through the lymphatic system depends on? The muscle contraction. Lymph is prevented from moving backwards in the lymphatic system by which of the following? Uh, back by the bugs within the vessel. A second function of the lymphatic system is to absorb and transport which of the following from the digestive tract? Fats. The special lymphatic capillaries responsible for absorption of fats known as lacteals can be found in? Intestinal bile. Intestinal villi. villi. The third function of the lymphatic system is to carry out the immune responses. What is it within lymphatic vessels and organs that acts to defend the body against disease? Uh, lymphocytes. How many major types of lymphocytes are there? There are three. Where in the lymphatic system is lymph filtered to identify and begin the fight against infection? Uh, lymph, uh, lymph nodes. What are lymph nodes in Tagalog? Uh, lymph nodes for is uh, dito yung alam mo yan come on lymph nodes <laughs> yung ano doc uh, anong tawag dyan sa Tagalog anyone ipon uh, doc ano kulani kulani very Kulani. good oh, so at least alam nyo na okay go kulani oh yan tagal ng iba okay bilis which of the following is a primary lymphoid organ uh, the T-cells. The thymus. The thymus is the org, the lymphoid organ, the primary. Kaya tinawag the T-cells, yeah. Thymus okay. or the T-cells. <clears throat> Excuse me. Which of the following are the secondary or peripheral lymphoid organs? Uh, the, the lymph nodes and spleen. Of the approximately 20 liters of fluid that filters from the blood into tissue spaces each day, Roughly how much enters the lymphatic system? Uh, three liters. 
the other 17 liters saan napupunta? Uh, from uh, bloodstream. Okay, we absorb by the bloodstream. Very good. Which lymphatic duct returns lymph collected from the left side of the body and from below the thorax? Uh, thoracic duct. Why are lipids and lipid-soluble vitamins transported by the lacteals of the lymphatic system rather than in the blood? They are too large. Skeletal muscle contractions, the pull of the skin and fascia on movement, and pressure changes during breathing move lymph along the lymphatic vessels. What are these forces called? Uh, they are called uh, external pressures. In the respiratory pump, lymph is moved through the lymphatic vessels as inhalation causes increase in pressure in the abdominal region and a decrease in pressure in... Uh, in thoracic region. Internal pressure which helps move lymph within the lymphatic vessels comes from smooth muscle contraction in... From the walls of the lymphatic vessels. Approximately how many lymph nodes are there in the human body? Five or six hundred. The lymph vessels which drain lymph out of a lymph node are referred to as? Uh, efferent lymph vessels. Okay. Out is efferent. Where in the body are lymphocytes formed? Uh, in the red bone marrow. Which of the following are one of the main types of lymphocytes? Uh, lymph, uh, the T cells. The primary site for the maturation of T cells is? Is the thymus. 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 Okay. In specific or adaptive immunity, which type of lymphocyte produces antibodies? Uh, the B cells. Okay, what's the difference between B cells and T cells? B cells. Okay, na natin to. Which type of cells produce cytokines to direct the immune response? Mm -hmm. Uh, the T helper cells. Okay. These are actually the T cells that will call on the soldiers. Sige, dumami na kayo, dumami na kayo. Okay? Next, number 15. What is synthesized in the white pulp of the spleen? Uh, the antibodies. Okay. Let's discuss. This is the last question, diba? So very good job po. But again, let's uh, try to focus on the T cells with okay. regards to HIV. Are you familiar with AIDS? Yes, no. What is wrong in HIV? Uh, umihina na po yung immune system. Sobrang hina na po. Uh, okay. pina, ina, ano niya na yung, yung mga cells. What Hindi particular na kayang, cells? Uh, Actually, sa, sino the, okay. when you have an enemy coming in or mm -hmm. you want to fight the enemy, uh, sino ang dapat dumami? Ang T-helper cells or t Suppressor cells. T helper, para back up, di ba? Right? Ang T cells po is antibodies po, di ba? I'm sorry? Ang B cells po, doc, antibodies? No, the B cells produce antibodies. B cells? Yes po. Diba? The T cells, meron tayong tinatawag na natural killer cells. Mm -hmm. uh, these are the ones that will kill or eat up your abnormal cells. Oh, Meron tayong mga cancer cells. Diba? Papatay niya yan. So kung mahina oh, immune system mo, kulang yung NK cells mo. But yeah. for, uh, my question is about HIV, human immunodeficiency virus. Diba? So mm -hmm. dito, okay, when you have Riera, that means you need a backup, right? So dapat dumami yung T helper cells. These are actually called the T4 T helper uh, cells. Okay. Yung T8 naman, ito yung T suppressor cells. You know what happens in HIV? Dumadami yung T suppressor kaysa sa T helper. Na hindi so instead naman... na magpadami ng mga, ng mga backup, nababawasan. Uh, that's why the virus is very happy. Okay? Uh, okay so that's how it works. Uh, I hope that's clear. And again, ano nagpaproduce ng antibodies? B cells or T cells? Antibodies, B cells. Okay, I have another question. I'm sure you're very familiar with chicken pox, right? Yes, po do. Bakit yung iba nagkaka chicken pox ulit? Uh, okay. Yeah. Ang ano po dyan, doc, is hindi ga ganong lumabas yung mga... No. Actually, inutil yung mga tinatawag na memory T cells. So memory uh, T cells are types of T cells 
that will try to remember the itchura okay. of the virus. But if your immune system is weak, oh, marami kang marami kang deficiencies, no? So okay. nagiging inutil yung memory mo, memory T. Ah, okay. What happens okay. is, pag medyo may edad ka na, nagka, di ba, dapat once lang eh. So pag once ka lang nagka chicken pox, okay? Uh -huh. Or... What? Pero meron po doc talaga na ano eh, yun nga po, yung sa, tama yung sinabi niyo, bumabalik eh. Kasi mahina yung immune system, mahina yung memory T. Okay? You don't produce antibody. <laughs> so, uh, in, in uh, what's this? Varicella, chicken pox. Okay? You are not supposed to have it again. So, pag nagkaroon ka ulit ng chicken pox, nung tumanda ka na, mga 20s, 30s, so magkakaroon ka na ngayon ng tinatawag na Herpes zoster. Yung mga pangalan sa likod. Ayun. Okay. So now you know. So what is the bottom line here? So napakahalaga po pala na... Immune system. Okay? So you need to make sure na yung lymphatics natin talagang healthy. Opo. Okay. Thank you very much, Ma'am. Thank you, Doc. Ami. I hope that's clear. Opo. Okay, yes, some of you have questions. You can ask them later. Thank you. Thank okay, you, Mr. Darwin, are you ready? Okay, let's go to the ear. Number one is pointing to the external ear. What does number three indicate? Uh, internal ear. Which number is pointing to the semicircular canal? Eight. What does number nine indicate? Uh, the auditory nerve. The external auditory canal is indicated by number thirteen. Which number indicates the auditory tube? 18. Number two indicates? Uh, the middle ear. Temporal bone is indicated by number? Five. Which number indicates the round window? Seventeen. Very good. Bawal <laughs> magkamali. Number 12 indicates? Uh, there is elastic cartilage. What does number 15 indicate? Uh, the tympanic membrane. Tympanic membrane. Tympanic membrane. Uh, tympanic membrane. The cochlea is indicated by number? 19. Number 6 is pointing to? Uh, the malleus. Ano ang English ng malleus? Tino mo itsura ng malleus? Did you see the itchura of the malleus? So para siyang hammer. Para siyang martilyo. Okay? Number seven indicates the? Uh, the incus. The stapes, the stapes in the oval window is indicated by number? 16. What does number eight indicate? Uh, the semicircular canal. The external ear is indicated by number? One. Number 13 is pointing to? Uh, external auditory canal. Number 18 indicates? Uh, auditory tube. Number 12? Elastic cartilage. Which number is pointing to internal ear? Uh, number 3. Which number is pointing to tympanic membrane? Fifteen. 15. 15. Yes. 15. Number 19 is? Uh, cochlea. Okay, cochlea. cochlea. Number five is? Temporal bone. Which number indicates the middle ear? Uh, two. The malleus is indicated by number? Six. Which number indicates the incus? Seven. Number 16 is pointing to? The stapes. Which number is pointing to the auditory nerve? Uh, number nine. Number 17 indicates? Uh, the round window. Number 4 is pointing to? The helix. The helix is number? 4. Number 10? Uh, tragus. The malleus is indicated? Num number num Number 6. What does number 11 indicate? Uh, the lobule. Which number indicates the incus? 7. Number 17 indicates? Uh, the round window. Which number indicates the tragus? Number 4. Number 10. 
Number. Ah, number 10. Ito yung number 4. Number 4 is already your? Helix. Helix. Ah, Isko na duling ka na yata. Ah, okay lang, pero at least. Ah, okay. What does number 9 indicate? Uh, auditory nerve. Which number indicates the round window? Uh, 17. Number 12 indicates? Uh, elastic cartilage. Which number is pointing to auditory nerve? Uh, number 9. What does number 14 indicate? Uh, the serumen. Ano ang serumen sa Tagalog? Uh, Atuli. Earwax. Earwax. Hindi pala Tagalog ang earwax. At Atuli ba? Atutuli. Atutuli. Okay, whatever. Uh, okay, earwax yan. Ha? Pero para mas social, ibig sabihin Tagalam ka, serumen. Serum. Which number is pointing to the lobule? Uh, 11. Which number is pointing to the cerumen? 14. Thank you very much, Sir Darwin. Excellent job. Medyo naduling ka lang doon sa isa. <laughs> Maraming salamat. Are you happy with the, the module? Did you learn a lot? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Congratulations. Now let's go to Baguio. Ma'am Janine, good evening. Good evening, though. Good evening, everyone. Number three indicates? The iris. Which number indicates the fovea? 15. Okay. What is What does the fovea do? This is actually the seat of the best acuity, no? central vision. Um, mm -hmm. The old name for that during my time is fovea centralis. Okay? So center yan. It gives you the clearest vision. Okay. What is number two pointing to? The lens. The retina is indicated by number? Um, 12. Number five is? The zonular space. Are you sure? That's actually the ano, huh? um, Some people are saying that if you have a very wide of this, malakas yung sex appeal. Ay, yung pupil mo do? A pupil. Diyan pumapasok ang light. So what happens to the pupil when there is too much light? It dilates, goes down. It closes. It it constricts. Okay? Yeah, constrict. uh, so if it's too dark, what happens to the pupil? It opens. Dilates. It dilates. Mm -hmm. Which number indicates the optic nerve? 13. What is number 15 pointing to? The fovea. The cornea is indicated by number? Four. Number 12 indicates? Um, 12. Hyaloid. No. Hyaloid huh? canal? No, it, yeah. it doesn't look like a canal. Ay, yung nga pala. Sorry. Optic nerve. No. Kanina Hindi na yung number 13, oh. optic nerve. Oh, the retina. The retina. Sorry, there are actually three layers of the eye. Huh? We have the sclera, the choroid, and the retina. In the retina, nandiyan yung fovea centralis. Okay? Yes, 14 pala yung hyaloid doctor. Okay, you know, when you go to an ophthalmologist, if you are suspected of having diabetes or hypertension, so tinitingnan natin yung likod ng eye. We actually are looking at the fundus. So doon mo makikita the situation, the state of your blood vessels in the retina. So, yun. <laughs> Which number indicates the hyaloid canal? 14. What is number 13 pointing to? Optic nerve. Number 4 indicates? The cornea. The choroid is number? 16. So, it's the middle layer. What is number 14 pointing to? Hyaloid canal. What? Which number indicates the sclera? Seventeen. Very good. <laughs> Anterior chamber is indicated by number eighteen. No. Think again. So it's six. Six. Definitely, it's not number five. Ah, uh, wala pa lang uh, five. Seven. Or, Hindi rin uh -huh. siya number seven. 
<laughs> Sorry. So the answer is number six. Number sixteen is indicates... the choroid. Okay. Kita mo yung colored area. Ano ba? Those are the blood vessels. The iris is indicated by number three. Okay. What's the color of your iris? If you have royal blood, it should be blue. <laughs> Parang blue yung iris mo, Ma'am Janine. Ganun ba, Dok? Hindi ko alam. Malabo lang yung mata ko. Okay. But what are, you know, what should be the color of the iris of most Filipinos? Brown? Yes. What is number 17 pointing to? The sclera. Which number indicates the lens? Uh, two. Number 19 is pointing to? The medial rectus muscle. Oh, the lateral rectus muscle. So, baliktad. It is actually the muscle that moves your, like, if you go to the, go, look to the sides. You know, yeah. So, me, that's that's the lateral. So, 11 is the medial. Yes. Uh, time will come when we'll teach you how to not be able to use glasses anymore when you grow old. Would you like that? <laughs> of course. <laughs> no joke lang. Mawawala naman ng ano yung mga taong ano. Just have to practice. Most of us kasi, isang distance lang eh. Haven't you noticed I don't wear glasses? O, di ba? Sure. Lado, oo nga. Sige, wag na lang. Mamaya na yan. <laughs> okay. The pupil is indicated by number? Five. Yes. What does number 11 indicate? That's the medial. Medial. The yes. medial rectus is indicated, of course, by number 11. Yes. Number four is? The cornea. The ciliary body is indicated by number? One. What is number 14? Hyaloid canal. Which number indicates the fovea? 15. What does number 10 indicate? Ooh, the, conjunct the conjunctiva. That's conjunctiva. 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 Which number is pointing to the zonular space? So, mali yung answer mo dito. Nine. Nine. Very good. Which number is pointing to the zonular space? O inulit, ah? Nine. What does number one indicate? The uh, ciliary body. The anterior chamber is indicated by number? Six. Number nine is pointing to? The zonular space. Which number is pointing to the posterior chamber? Seven. Yes. So you know where the anterior chamber is. You know, This is very important when you study glaucoma, but that's another story. Okay? Uh -oh. Yep. Increase intraocular pressure. What does number six indicate? The anterior chamber. The vitreous chamber is indicated by number? Eighteen. Number seven is? Posterior chamber. Which number is pointing to the scleral venous sinus? Uh, eight. <laughs> number eight. Number eight, very good. What does number 18 indicate? The vitreous chamber. The conjunctiva is indicated by number? Ten. Okay, what, what is the pink eye? Conjunctivitis. Ten. Very good, acute conjunctivitis. <clears throat> Number eight is pointing to? The sclera venous sinus. Which number is pointing to lateral rectus? <clears throat> 19. What does number 10 indicate? Uh, the sclera venous sinus. No. I'm sorry. Not, wait, Doc. <clears throat> Conjunctiva. Conjunctiva. The medial rectus is indicated by number? Wait lang, that's in the Okay. Medial rectus is number 11. Okay, congratulations, Ma'am Janine. Did you enjoy your journey with us? Oh, yes, Doc, very much. Very lot. Thank you so much. I really Thank appreciate you. that. So, uh, we are open to suggestions. Yun nga lang, um, I really believe in this kind of strategy. I hate long lectures. <laughs> Magkikita niyo naman yan sa, sa ating acupuncture matters. But for this, I think I, this is more effective because you are forced to really look for the answer. Diba? 
Thank you so much, Ma'am Janine. Congratulations. Now let's call on Ma'am Joy. Good evening. Good evening, Good evening everyone. Okay. Wait, lang pa dok. Wait, 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 Okay. okay, good. <laughs> the Sun Jiao primary channel begins where? Um, it begins at the ulnar tip of the ring finger, Doc. Okay, kikita nyo na yan. Then where does it go? Um, uh, between the fourth and the fifth metacarpal bones. At the front or back? Or, or, the, or the at the front? So, at the at the anterior or door? At the ventral? The dorsum, Doc. The dorsum. Very good. So ulnar aspect of the tip of the ring finger. A very important point there is triple burner three. Okay. And also TB10. Type triple triple burner three or Sanjiao three is a tonifying point. Sanjiao 10 is a sedating point. Okay. The Sanjiao primary channel travels up the posterior aspect of the forearm between radius and ulna, in between which two channels? Between the large and small intestine channels, though. Very good. L-I-S-I. -I. The San Jiao primary channel traverses all the of ulna at SJ10 and continues up where? Remember, some of you were confused pag sinabing continue up. So if you know, if you remember yung lecture natin sa Chinese, no? I don't. I, I think you have the book, no? Yung Chinese, uh, ano Energy medicine in... Okay, whatever. Ang... Um, nakaganyan yung kamay parang hold up so it's like going up okay that's why uh continuing up where so where does it continue up um up the posterior lateral aspect of the upper arm doc going to the shoulder to the shoulder so at the shoulder it intersects with the channel small intestine channel at SI12 did you know that SI12 is a very very uh, important uh, point Okay, uh, it's if you know where SI11 is, if if you press this point, nasa taas siya, SI12, suprascapular, di ba? Uh, pag, pag tender yan, you need to needle it. It's so good. Ay, nako, especially pag shoulder pain, promise. Number four, from SI12, galing tayo na SI12, the Sanjiao primary channel travels up. Posterior aspect of the forearm between radius and ulna. Take note, huh? between radius and ulna, between what two channels? Um, between the large and small intestine channels also, though. Okay. Some books are saying the lung and large intestine, so I think there's something wrong with this. You, you were right. Large and small. Okay. Sanjo Pani. <laughs> Okay, so iyo yata galing. Okay, anyway. The Sanjiao primary channel traverses the olecranon of ulna at SJ10. Can you, you know how to locate SJ10, huh? That's a very important point. You can see this here. Oh. Triple burner 10. Sa olecranon ng ulna. And then it continues yes. where it intersects what channel? Um, the small intestine channel. Look. At, at what point? At um, SI12. Very good. Kaya for those people na may issue dyan, uh, do not forget SI12. You can Google it, and I'm sure most of you already know where it is. Sanjo primary channel connects with SI and travels towards the spine via bladder 11, where it connects with what channel? With a governing vessel at do 14, though. Very good. Governing vessel at do 14 or GB14. So, importante po yan, ha? So, you see, you hit two birds with one... So we all know that bladder 11 is, you can also, ano, you can, especially pag medyo masakit yung likod, you can, uh, especially during cold, no, you can cop it. Pwede kayong mag-copying dyan. It's a, a bladder 11. Okay? Now, number seven, 
Tanjau ascends laterally to the highest point of the shoulder laterally where it intersects the gallbladder channel at what point? At GB21, though. Okay. Do not, uh, do not needle this when you're pregnant. GB21. All you have to do is do like this, oh. Ma-feel mo na yung GB21 dyan. O, oh, para kang ano, para oh, kang oh, yung minamamify ng mga ano <laughs> sa Egypt. <laughs> Siguro hinahawakan nila yung GB21 nila. Okay? And that's so good. At especially when you're stressed. Yeah. GB21. Next. Sanjal disperses midway in between breast at REN17, that it connects with the pericardium because SJ is inter interiorly, exteriorly related to PC. Then it de descends the diaphragm to the abdomen via mm -hmm. what? Uh, via REN12, doc. Okay, very good. REN12. How do you locate REN12? REN12, doc. Uh, wait, for uh, for chun above yeah, the umbilicus. Yeah. Above the umbilicus. Very good. 12 minus 8. So 4 soon. Hmm. Ang gagaling nyo. Grabe. I'm so proud of you. A branch of Sanjiao separates in the region of Ren 17, ascends to emerge from the supraclavicular fossa, rises along the neck to the posterior aspect of the ear. Then it circles behind the ear via GB11. You can see it from the illustration. You can take a snapshot if you want. Or put it yes, all down. Yes, Actually, kung meron kang gua siya, lalo na pag sumakit oh, sa mo dahil nagalit, kapag mo ganun-ganun yun yan, no? ay nako, napakaganda. Mm -hmm. Especially when you have aso, nagtitame si, ano sila, kaya lang somebody here doesn't like dogs, eh. but anyway. <laughs> sa dog gagawin yung dog? Yeah, dito sa, ano, sa, yung, sa tenga. Yung, ay, ah. Sa taas ng tenga. Sa pagpatame, baka pagpatame din ng tao, dog. <laughs> oh, nasa tao nga ito eh, no? So, kung ano, <laughs> where, ah, oh, oh, oh. so where does it um, circle oh. behind the ear via the GB11 to what part? To the temples. temples. To the temples, doc. Mm -mm. So, sa yes, temples, doc. the SI will intersect with the gallbladder channel at GB654 and GB14. And then it goes, it winds across the cheek, intersecting the small intestine. At, so if you notice, talagang ano lang sila, magkapamilya sila lahat, no? And these are all young or young, di ba? Uh, kaya, if you have this gua sha, I was able to buy one gua sha, which is which looks so good. I'll show it to you later. Uh, you want me to show to it, show it to you now? It's so it's so nice. Wait yes, no. yes, please. Uh, wait, wait. Here it is. Ito o. Oh. Maganda siya. Did you see this? Uh, what I like, oh, wow. siya, meron siyang roller. Oo, oh, yeah. Iganong-ganong mo siya. Iganong mo siya. Ay, ang sarap niya talaga. And then you use the oil. <laughs> Gamitin niyo yung oil ni Dr. From Doc's <laughs> Oh my God. Especially the... God, I forgot the ano. The, yung medyo maganda yung amoy paggabi. I'm not so good at... Yung oil? Yung, 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 oh, yeah. And then, lavender. You remember? Lavender. Oo. Oh, oh. Si ano pala, si Ryan... Dr. Ryan Baldomero, he would use this like everything. Iba lang yung itsura ng kanyang mamahali. Ito naman, I cannot send to you the, 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 the ano. It's, uh, I can, uh, okay, there. You see that? It looks good, di ba? Sige nga, Dok, at nagahalap ako ng magandang guasa. Yeah. It's not expensive. Not very expensive. O, di ba? Maganda to. Okay, why? This one, you can put on some points. I was thinking, siguro dapat ako maningil nito. It's called ha diba, na, Happy Skin. Tinan nyo sa, ano, sa online. Happy Skin. Mm. Yeah, it's so ah, awesome. Happy Skin. Hindi ba yan, yan din yung may ano, doc? Mga parang facial wash, mga ganun. Yeah, whatever. Oo. Uh, ito yung parang roller niya. 
Pero, hindi na pala sila. Yung, oo, kasi dapat alam mo, when we're doing AQ, we should also look good. Otherwise, wala magpapa-AQ sa atin, di ba? Like, how come ang mag aq sa akin mukhang, mukhang ano na, mukhang magre-retire <laughs> Mas mukha ka pang may sakit, sabihin nila. Oo, oh, yeah. See? So, ba And, umiikot yun? Umiikot yung roller? Um, umiikot siya. Umiikot siya. Oh. Okay. Happy skin. I found I, I, it. Yeah. Oh, you found it. Oh my God. You found how cheap it is. <laughs> <laughs> you know yeah. what I'm Because well, this one is a bit pointed. Like, At may ko lang na-realize doon kung dami palang expensive na gwa siya. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mas ito ito cheaper siya compared to the other. Meron pa isa kaya lang puro ano naman yun eh pa hindi naman to pa ano eh. Ang maganda kasi nito, it's convenient because you can use it on your on your own. And you can actually memorize like this one, a GB11, the GB9. Itong dito, sometimes ay ang ganda-ganda niyan. But anyway, going back to where we <laughs> where we we uh, no, where we stop so if you notice connected so with s uh, ang sj connected with si and gb no si hmm. so sa yes, head no. yeah, so it's like puro ano yan puro yang so what is our goal palalo na pag galit ka dapat bumaba siya no kasi kag, pag masyado kang stressed umaakyat yan so na activate yan so to bring it down Now you have to do something. <laughs> Yon. Next, another. We need to guasha. <laughs> you need to guasha. Another branch of the primary Sanjo channel separates behind the ear to intersect the SI and GB channels at SI19 and GB3, and then it crosses what? Um, doc, it crosses the previous branch on the cheek and it terminates um at the at the outer characters of the eye. Okay. So cheek. That is why paggalit ka minsan yeah. nagaano yan nag you know when you have um what do you call this facial palsy facial paralysis. Yeah. So oh. to prevent that especially pag na expose ka sa cold Good luck, mga taga Baguio. <laughs> so you have to do, you have to use this, and then you can, you can. At sa kaya mga point to, ito oh, you can use that sa mga sa mga LI4, sa mga lang lang uh lang five mga gan. Okay. So there. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Where does? Kani uh, nung ko connect si Sanjau Channel. <laughs> Um, Dr. Sanjao and Pericardium. Sanjao and Pericardium. So Sanjao, we're talking about all the three jaws, no? And upper, also the ear. Upper, middle, and lower. And also the ear. Upper, middle, lower, Sanjao, and the Pericardium, and then the ear. Okay. okay. Thank you, Dr. Uh, let's go to the loop connecting channel of the Sanjao. It separates from from the from the Sanjao channel at Sanjao 5 It's a Sanjao 5 doc yeah Sanjao 5 ah no ah yeah Sanjao 5 sorry namali ako dito just kung may pakahiya Sanjao 5 Sanjao 5 not PCC my god I get so confused ang ang kanyang kakonchaba dyan Okay, you know what does a Luo connecting point does, no? Um, yes, it sedates so. that particular. Now this is Sanjiao. This is Yang. So it sedates the Yang. Okay, so that it can, it can affect its its uh its partner, mm -hmm. which is the pericardium. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, so. Number 13, the Sanjiao divergent channel separates from the primary channel on the so we're talking about the divergent na ha? so this is the picture oh. I presume you already have the the picture of the meridian pathways no yung naka, ano. Okay. Um separate yes, the primary channel on the head and then it branches to the vertex and then it goes down into what? Um this sends into the superclavicular fossa doc. Yeah, supracavicular fossa, and then it 
across the three jaws, then it disperses into the chest. So it needs to be into the chest when you have emotional issues. Remember, the samja and the pericardium are related, and the pericardium uh, assumes that you know the task of protecting the heart. No, if all of us are actually very um, aware of this, because at the moment the heart gets affected, practically all the organs will be affected, and you you know you can die anytime. Lalo na pag merong kang ano like ano ba tawag ay frank sign dito sa ating earlobe, no? Yon. Number fourteen. Gallbladder primary channel begins in the outer canthus. And then, remember GB1 dito? And then it crosses to where? Yes, Doc. Where does it go next? Um, to the anterior portion of the ear at GB2, Doc. Okay, very good. And then it ascends to the upper border of the zygomatic arch at GB3. Yes. Number, number 15. GB primary channel ascends to the corner of the forehead at GB4. And descends via points GB5, GB6, GB7, 2. Um, to the region above the ear where it meets with uh, Sanjiao 22, Doc. Okay, so we have the same reference. Oh, really studied. Okay, very good. So, did you notice, sa, mu sa ulo, they're all young channels, right? Including the muka. That's why mabili. Yes, no. Do you find any? But most are actually, all are young. No? So yun. Kaya nakikita sa mukha. So if you want to look young forever, then you need to bring down the the the, the, ano, the fire. Kailangan bumaba. Okay. Next. Yes. The gallbladder primary channel that it curves behind the ear to the mastoid process at the gallbladder 12 meeting with what? With Sanjiao 20, though. Very good. From stomach 8, I presume you know where stomach 8 is. It's actually yes, probably sir. where the sungai would <laughs> the <come> temples. <laughs> stomach 8. <clears throat> the sungai. Oh, the <laughs> primary channel descends to the supraorbital region at GB14. You know where GB14 is? GB14 is... Above the is... Okay. Above the eye. Above the eye. Sa forehead. Yeah. Ito. How many tune from your from your key line? From the extra. One tune. Yeah, one tune. Ay, one tune above the eyebrow. You use the ano, mapapansin mo, nag nagka-clear yung vision. Saka nawawala. Especially when you've been reading a lot. Then basak na naman ulit, malalabo na naman. <laughs> I'm sure nakaka-relate dyan si Ma'am Lynn. I'm yes. sure she has tried this. Yeah. Diba, Ma'am Lynn, diba? Gallbladder 14. Favorite yeah, point ba yan, Ma'am Lynn? Yeah, Lynn, ko yan eh, pag hindi na ako makabasa ng ayos. And then, Ma'am Lynn, 14, where does it go, Ma'am Joy? From GB14, Doc. Um... <laughs> Sends up, then a sense of uh, and curves across the side of the head to GB20. Okay. Yes. So, can you ma magaganung ka? Ang sarap, no? Pupu going here. Wow. Diba? Excited. Number 18, gallbladder primary channel crosses the top of the shoulder via GB21. Ito. Oh. And SJ15 to meet with the spine at do 14. Then what happens? Um, then it passes laterally via urinary bladder 11 to uh, small intestine 12. Though. Okay. Make sure that you needle them. Hmm? All these points that were mentioned, you needle all of them. You will end up you so, know, having a very happy patient. <laughs> So, Doc, lahat meaning even yung, so, so gallblad, from gallbladder 21, Sanjo 15, do 14, UB11, and SI12? 
you needle only the, the ones that are very tender. Kasi ngayon, super init ngayon. Mm-hmm. Buti kayo dyan sa Baguio, medyo. I'm sure mainit na sa inyo ngayon yung ano na. Pero dito, can you imagine yes, dito no. sa amin? Pero oh, mas mainit na naman. Grabe. <laughs> kaya lahat umaakyat eh. Oh, kaya good luck na lang sa heat stroke. So, and also, I'm sure si Ma'am Lynn, may favorite siya na points para hindi magkaka heat stroke. No? Where is that? So we're talking about the gallbladder channel. Can you tell us where in the gallbladder channel? Share. Ay, nakalimutan. Yung 38 doc, yung sa heart, yun, di ba? Sa heart, tama ba? Sa heart attack. Pang, ano, sa heart attack. So not the same. No, not the same. Is it GB39 or GB38? I'll check, ha? Ang alam ko, GB38 is Fortune. Ala, 38 yata. Fortune siya. Are you sure of that? Wait lang, let's check. We need to be very sure. GB38 block is Fortune. Yeah, so what is it for? I for... My question Can it, can it lead? What, what is the most powerful acupuncture point? Can you guess? Most powerful? <laughs> Depends on... Mm. Uh, uh, or the I don't point know, that you use, you <laughs> always needle. Stomach 36. Uh, and uh, stomach 36. <laughs> I'm not so sure uh, about... Uh... Wait lang. GB39 is... It helps improve bone marrow function. It is called the... Uh... Okay, what... Are you sure it's GB38? Ma'am Lynn? Yung para sa heart, Doc, yung sabi niyo na pagka, ano, para hindi ma-heart attack. Pag ma-stroke. Yeah. Pang post-stroke din po yan, Doc. Oh, oh and post-stroke. Pag may hemiplegia. Huwag na tayo maghintay na mag-stroke. <laughs> Okay. So, pwede pong, pwede pong iyan na, tusukin na natin <laughs> yeah. before pa mas I think, hindi naman sinabi dito, oh, I think it's Jing River kasi yung GB38. But, let, let's check GB39. Kaka-confuse kasi sa dami, no? But anyway, yeah. let's look at um, Ay, GB39, hemiplegia. <clears throat> Di ba hemiplegia, one-sided? Ko. Yeah, GB39. GB39. So, para, yung para sa heat stroke, Doc, ano yung ginagamit? GB39. Para sa heat stroke? Ah, 39 pa din. Ah. Well, 39. Oh, hemiplegia, rigidity, and pain of the neck. Pain in the hypochondrium, weakness, numbness, and pain of the mm-hmm. lower extremities as a local point. Remember that stomach 36 and GB39. Actually, GB39, it's so easy. If you go to the medial side, that's actually spleen 6. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Yon. <clears throat> so GB38 is to stimulate the bone marrow, especially when you are ano, when you're having blood deficiency. Kung medyo maputlang maputla ka na. So siempre, i needle mo na lang. Ay, ano mo na lang both i I acupressure mo using this. I'm not, you know, I'm not paid to promote this. Uh, I was just too happy because this are one, this is one of the few ano na talagang happy happy ako. No, meron pa ako iba dyan, pero I I love. Oh, kasi maganda siya, dok. Tapos dual purpose pa. Okay. Yeah. And easy to put in the bag. And it's not pricey, no? It's not pricey. And then you use oh, the oil. Oh, not bad. Right? Right. Oh, oh. Kasi yung itim ni ano, doctor ano. I ko lang, mamahalin lang yung guasha niya. <laughs> ano? <laughs> <laughs> Naggulat ako kanina na wala yung itim. <clears throat> anyway. Mm. Yeah. So, let's ask him on Saturday what he did. He was so happy. You know, lumiit ang konti yung mukha, pero kain na naman ulit. Okay. Number 19. <laughs> A branch of the gallbladder channel emerges from behind the ear. And enters the ear at Sanjo 17, then emerges where? Um, in front of the ear, though. In front though. of the ear. Okay. 
and enters the ear at SI19 and stomach 7 to outer canthus of the eye. So these are the things that we need to make, uh, no, uh, where we need to really address para hindi tayo magkaloon ng lines. No? And the last one for you, Mom Joy, is what is the, br the branch of the gallbladder channel that emerges from behind the ear descends from the stomach 7 to what? To the corner of the jaw near stomach 5, doc. Okay, so that is why you have to do like that. Ganun mo siya. Ito pa pundang galaw. Yan. Para, ano nga ito? There are three points here. Very important. Facelift talaga. <laughs> yeah, facelift. O, oh, diba? So, yun. Go. Thank diba? you very much, Mom. Dual purpose agad siya. Yeah, did you enjoy your journey with love? Thank you so much, Doc. Thank you. Of course, Doc. Thank you very much. Please. Now let's call on Dr. Tem. Thank you, Doc. Thank you. Dr. Mom Anjali, Dr. Mary Anjali Pala. Good evening, Po. Doc, yes, Doc. Okay. Now let's talk about the gallbladder primary channel. It descends to the neck, then it passes near stomach six and intersections what point? Uh, stomach 9 po. To rejoin the main panel in the Okay. So I hope you can do gua sha on this point to really for me. Kasi di ba, meron tayong tatawag na GB primary channel, meron tayong uh, luo connecting, divergent, and the sinew or muscle channel. Yes. Number 22. GB primary channel descends into the chest meeting with PC channel at PC1. Then what happens? It crosses the diaphragm. It connects with the liver. It connects with the gallbladder. <clears throat> Excuse me. So the liver is actually the interiorly, exteriorly related channel. Okay. And uh, what does the pericardium have to do with the liver? Mm. Remember, they have the same polarity, right? Julian, remember? Yes, yeah, so no. Trian, pericardium and... Okay, what I'm saying is, like, if you are having issues with... Uh, I don't know if some of you can relate to this. Uh, I want you to, to really apply what we are learning. Okay. When you walk, if you want to impact your liver, or if you cannot walk, all you have to do is focus on the pericardium channel on the opposite side. Okay. For example, kasi pericardium is connected to the liver. Example, masakit yung ano mo, dibdib mo. No? So opposite siya. Okay, that's another story. So crosses the diaphragm, connects with the liver, unites with gallbladder, continues along inside or in of the inguinal region. Number 23. May maingay. Oh, no. Hello. <laughs> Sorry po. <laughs> oh, sige, sige po. Uh -oh. Okay, the gallbladder primary channel encircles the genitals. It runs superficially along the margin of the pubic hair and enters steeply to emerge. Then what happens next? Um, it meets uh, the bladder channel and at the do one. Okay. Do you see this? Can you see this one? Wait lang ha. I'll be using the laser pointer here. What do you call this structure? Structure. Okay, sacrum or sacrum. Uh, this is actually a fusion of five bones. So, kaya mayroon tayong apat na foramina, the plural for foramen. So, you try to palpate that. So, the best would be to use the kwasha. Okay? You see, connected po siya. Next. Where does the gallbladder primary channel emerge? Um, 
on the bottom at GB34. Okay. Can you tell us how to locate it? I don't know much. <laughs> okay. Actually, you know, we went through there. Ganito. Alam nyo, this is very important, especially when your patient has hip pain. Okay? You ask the patient to lie on the opposite. Kasi masakit niya dito. Let's say right, right hip. So ask. Hindi, hindi, hindi siya higa doon sa may pain. Because doon mo i-needle doon sa may pain. So si yung left hip niya nakahiga. So naka side view. Okay? Lateral recap then. And so hanapin mo yung ano. There's a measurement. I attend na lang kayo sa Saturday pala. Okay. Or um it's so difficult to locate but your clue there is ito yung parang ano parang dimple ng puwet na ano mo Hi. ng buttocks mo. Okay? Uh, okay? So try looking for your dimples there. And um yes, use also gallbladder 29. So these are the local points. Okay? GB30, GB29. Or to be more amazing, you use the ear Locate the GB30 and GB29 on the ear. Okay? So, number 25, another branch of the GB primary channel descends from supraclavicular fossa to anterior aspect of the axilla then passes through what three points? Uh, at GB22, GB23, and GB24 points. Wow, ang galing. A branch of GB primary channel intersects the liver channel at what point? Liver 13. Okay, this is called the front move of the spleen. Front move of the spleen. Okay, so connected, connected, pila lang. Oh, nga pala, bakit spleen? Hala, liver 13. Sabi ng libro, liver 13, no? Something wrong with it. <laughs> Baka liver 14. Okay, whatever. Uh, malapit lang naman 13 and 14. Diba? Okay. So, nagmi-meet-meet sila dyan. So, it would be best if you do gua sha on these areas. Now, branch of the GB's primary channel descends along the lateral aspect of the lower leg to the anterior aspect of what? The lateral malleolus. Okay. You can see that from here. Oh. Yes. The gallbladder primary channel follows the dorsal surface of the foot along the groove between the fourth and fifth metatarsals. To end where? Where does it end? On the lateral side of the tip of the fourth to uh, GB44. Very good. Another branch from GB primary separates on the foot at GB41 and runs between first and second metatarsal bones to where? The medial tip of the big toe then through the two nails to link with the liver channel. Very good. The gallbladder primary channel connects with what zang foods? Gallbladder and liver. And also the ear and eyes. Uh, ear and eyes. Yeah, kasi um, remember, affected the liver dito, and the liver is very dependent on the kidney, right? So yes, sir. Uh, then we go to the Luo connecting channel of the gallbladder separates from the primary channel at what point? GB37. Okay, very good. That's GB37. So, GB divergent channel diverges from the primary channel of the thigh enters the... Where does it go? Um, Pubic hair line. Yes. Where it converges with the divergent channel of the liver. Okay. So this is very, very important for the pubic area, pubic hairline. Mm -hmm. Gallbladder divergent channel enters the flank between lower ribs, connects with the gallbladder, and what happens next? It spreads upward through the liver. So that explains why if you have liver issues, you do not forget GB. Actually, pag sobra ng, sobra ng yang yung liver mo, sobra ng grabe yung yang rising, Nasa, nasa gallbladder na yan. Okay? 
Yes. Kaya di ba sumasakit din ulo mo? Gallbladder divergent channel spreads up through the liver and what happens next? It crosses upward across the heart and esophagus. Yes. And this is something that we need to really look into na hindi umabot sa ganyan. Okay? Kasi sobra yung fire eh. Kumakyat na. Now you're beginning to see how this works. Okay? Gallbladder divergent channel emerges at the lower jaw, disperses in the face, and then connects with the eye and rejoins with the gallbladder. Si it jo, it jo, okay. Kaya yung iba na namumula yung mata. Okay? And it's usually only one eye. So it's, if it's only one eye, then probably uh, sa channel siya nagmula, galing sa liver. Okay, umakyat na siya. Can you imagine saan siya, siya pumunta? <laughs> okay. The liver primary channel originates at? The lateral aspect of the dorsum of the big toe at liver uh, one. And it runs okay. along the foot to liver four. Very good. Liver primary channel ascends along the middle aspect of the lower leg, intersecting the spleen channel at spleen six. Then what happens? It continues to ascend anterior to the spleen channel to an area eight tune above the medial malleolus. And what is that area? Like what point are we talking about here? Uh, the spleen. Spleen channel. Spleen, spleen okay. channel. GB primary channel crosses posterior to spleen channel up to the knee and the medial aspect of the thigh. Okay. Hala, dumami na. Wait lang. I nag skip. What's the next one? 39. Yeah, what's number 39? The liver primary channel continues to the pubic region via. Spleen 12 and spleen 13, where, where it encircles the genitals, then it ascends to and enters the lower abdomen where it intersects the rim, 2, 3, and 4. Okay. And number 40? After intersecting with the rim vessel, the liver primary channel continues upward. The curve around the stomach and before entering to the liver connecting with the GB channel. Okay, so now you could see why the if you have stomach issues, it will uh, no, it, well you have di ba pag, pag galit ka, especially kumakain kayo, affect din yung stomach mo. Right? Mm -hmm. I'm sure walang amin dito. So anyway, just for us to know. Kasi I, I once had a patient na talagang masakit yung stomach niya. Yung pala nag-aaway sila parate every time they eat. So sabi ko, try not to. <laughs> anyway, it's easier said than no, done. So, argue much. Don't argue while eating. Okay. Kasi that's the only time down when they're together. Don't eat together. <laughs> Thank you very much, Dr. Mary Angeli. Okay, let's Thank go. You, Doc. Thank you very much, Bob. Are you enjoying you, your Doc. journey with with uh, LAMP so far? Marunong of course, Doc. Thank you very Pero, much. Pero nag-ano pa rin, Doc. Kasi parang nangangapa pa rin. Pero oh, naman, um, continuously but... studying. <laughs> Hindi naman ganun kabilis. But what is important is, yes, clinically, parang maaga na kina expose Because this is what this is all about. And the patient can feel yeah. it if you're really good. Diba? Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, yeah. Doctora. Thank you, Doc. Now let's call on Ma Sir Michael. Good evening. Yeah. Sir Michael. Hello, po. Good evening, Doc. Oh, good evening. Can you read question number 41? Medyo nawala sa slides. Ikaw lang pinakalas. Ah, yeah. 
41, uh, the liver primary channel crosses the diaphragm and is spread in the costal and hypochondria region. And question mark. And the answer is the ascending, ascends along the, ascend along the neck and posterior aspect of the throat to the nasopharynx, the link with the tissue surrounding the eye. So eye system put the dog from the, from the neck going to eye system. Wow, now you know. Ang galing. Now you know how, how the liver is connected to the eye. So every time may nakita kayong mga namumuli yes. mata, it's either uminumi siya ng manaming masasarap na may heat, grabe yung heat, or nagalit. And you cannot, you know, mm -hmm. you cannot let it out. That happened to me when my number was hacked. Mm. <laughs> but anyway, can you continue, Sir Michael? 42. Yeah, number 42. Deliver the panel ascend across the forehead to the vertex. No? The vertex. Where? So the answer is where it's intersect with the gal uh, GB vessels. At the do 20, so do 20 okay. in the so, uh, uh, so market, if there is an issue here, that's liver. Okay, do 20, remember do 20 here. Pag mainit yan, yeah. liver yan. <laughs> okay. But if it's frontal, it's the stomach. Okay, mm. now you know. Okay, 43, Sir Michael. Uh, the 43 eye branch of liver channel comes from the eye system, eye system through the cheek and in circles. The answer is for this one is the inner surface of the lips, the inner surface of the lips, eyes system. That is why. Inner surface. That is why some of some some patients naga ano siya nag deviate, no? Yeah. Or sometimes they have this. Bitter taste, pag grabe yung liver mm -hmm. fire. Okay? Number 44. And yeah. actually, pag tininan mo sa tang, mapula yung tang, especially on the on one side of, of the tongue. Okay, let's Number go to 44. Number 44. It runs from the liver channel, it separates from the liver then. So, what happens? The answer is the diaphragm spreads in the lung meeting with the pericardium one. So liver diaphragm, lungs, pericardium. So PC1 is somewhere connected in the nipple area. Okay. Uh, uh, one two way, uh, so, one way. Do you think yeah, that explains uh, the reason why most women will have their breast mass on the right upper outer quadrant, on the upper outer quadrant of the breast? Have you mm. noticed most women nandiyan yung mass? Mm. So, this is because yung anger mo, sinusuppress mo lang, or you have been very like angry for quite some time. So we can help a lot of women on this regard. Okay? Now you, And also, pericardium and the liver. This is about, pericardium is about relationships and also the liver. Okay? So yeah. Number 45. Uh, 45, the liver primary channel connects with this, what some who? Uh, answer is liver, gallbladder, lungs, stomach, also the eye system, and the genital. Yes, yeah, so now you know. It's all there. Okay? Liver, gallbladder. No so this is what's exciting. When you say liver primary channel, it doesn't mean a puro liver lung. So you should know no. the corresponding no. test. Genitals, liver, yeah. The eye. Interconnected. Interconnected. Yeah. Lahat. Yes. Number 46. Number 46. The liver loop channel separates from the primary channel. Uh, at what point? So liver five foot at the middle aspect of the lower leg. So sambato sa middle. So ang so katampo natin ng liver five is so very close po sa sa spring six. Okay, that's liver five. Yeah, liver five four. Yeah, very good. Next is uh, liver divergent channel separates from primary channel on the dorsum of the foot too. 
ascend to the phyllic region where it converts with the, the bladder primary channel. Okay, very good. Where does the lung primary yeah. channel originate? Yeah. In the renal burner. Okay. Particularly the burner. stomach. Kita mo yan? Stomach region. Yeah. In the middle. Middle burden. Okay. So some of us may think, okay, it starts okay. from the lung. No, it actually starts from the stomach area. Lung primary channel descends to connect with LI and returns where? Upwards. Return upwards the fast to pass the cardiac orifice of the stomach transverse the diaphragm. Okay. The lung primary yeah, channel is the, the lung, then it ascends the, to the throat. Mm -hmm. Then what happens next? Pass completely downwards toward the song. Of course, I'm going long one. Okay, very good. Number 51. Then it ascends one rib space to lung two. Where? In the hollow. Hollow of the lectox delta pectoral triangle. So okay. in, the, in the middle, it's one. Can you try pressing your lung one? Does it hurt? So, oh. <laughs> so now we know. <laughs> because, because the lung and the heart belong to the same area. Okay? Yeah, okay. Ancestral okay. or whatever. Okay, so 52. The, the 52. Uh, the lung primary channels descends along the anterior lateral aspect of the upper arms to the pubital fossa of the elbow. At uh, lung pipe four, passes along the anterior lateral aspect of the arm, upper arm to the cubita fossa. Okay. The can, can you fossa also press your lung five? Lung five. Can you press your lung five? Lung five. Yeah, lung five can you do it here. now. Is it painful? Opo. Okay, so what are we going to do? <laughs> are you enjoying this, Mom Janine? <laughs> okay, 53. Uh, we're going to 53 now. Uh, the prim primary channel of the lung follows the lateral borders of the radius, radius and follows the lateral border of the radial artery so the rest of the time, lung nine. So lung nine tayo. So for people na malamig yung kamay or sweaty, that means their lungs are very weak. So if the lungs are weak, lung chi is weak, um, hindi sumasara yung mga, the, 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 the pores remain open. Kaya sweaty. Sweaty na, malamig pa. Diba? You should tonify lung nine. And also, since it, it is an, a chronic problem, you combine it with the spleen and also uh, dito sa back, no? bladder 13, what's the back show of the lung? Bladder 13 and also the spleen. Spleen is bladder. So, bladder what? Back show of the spleen. Bladder. Bladder 20, right? Okay, why are we considering the spleen? What is the reason? Sabi nila, the lung is actually the container of the phlegm. It's the reservoir of the phlegm. But the one forming the phlegm is the spleen. My question is, aside from that distinction, why is the spleen and lung together? Ano to, Doc? Anong, nga po ni Doc? Anong, anong channel ng lung and spleen? Using the six, le six levels. A six stages pa lang. Mm. ba? Bladder and small intestine is thaya, remember? And then the yang ming is stomach and large intestine. Shao mm. yang would be gallbladder and triple burner. Bladder and so uh, the lung and spleen is what? 
Thai yin. That means greater yin. So these are the organs na madaling maging yin. What about Shao uh, <coughs> yin? Ibig sabihin lesser yin. When you say lesser yin, there's a tendency for these two organs to become more young. What organs are we talking about here? Ma'am Janine. Shao yin. So siyempre, ang greater yin si lungs and spleen. That means they have the tendency to become yin. Okay? So most of the time, you need to reduce the yin. Kasi pag sobrang dami yung yin mo, marami kang dampness, marami kang phlegm, and that will affect your lungs. And most people who have allergies are like that. Okay? So you need to tonify the lungs and the spleen. My next question is, what about Thai Oh, no. Shao yin, lesser yin. What are the organs? Kangina, I just discussed the jui yin, terminal yin, which is the pericardium and the li and, and the liver, right? So ano na lang natira, which is very, very important. The heart. The heart heart the and the kidneys, yes. And um, there should be a good uh, connect between the heart and the kidneys. Okay. They're like water and fire. So when you say lesser yin, ibig sabihin, may tendency, lang mag, mag, may tendency magkaroon ng yang. Do you follow? So my next question is, if there is an issue with the heart, what do you expect to see in the tongue? So ibig sabihin, madali siyang maging yes. yang, madali siyang ma-agitate. Excuse me. Yeah. Okay, earlier I made mention about how how uh, there should be a communication between the heart and the kidneys. Heart is fire, kidney yes. is water. Why why do they need yeah. each other? Why Watch should it. they be communicating? If they are they have good they have good communication, the heart fire is supposed mm -hmm. to warm the kidney water. Right? Kasi ayaw ng kidney ang masyadong malamig. And also, ang role naman ng kidney is to um, keep the cool the fire. Kasi kung sobrang, di ba? You follow? So, it's okay. either you would see a tongue that's long and uh, red out coating or a tongue that's too swollen and wet. So where are yeah. we now? Like, if you're talking about uh, more young, hindi makatulog, parating madalik mag... So, what do you expect to see in the tongue? That means maraming fire. That means oh. there's something wrong with the kidney okay. or the heart. Yeah. Both. It's already happening to me, though. So, let's look at your tongue. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know when I see it late, earlier. My tongue. <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, uh, it was very swollen, no? Mm -mm. So let's ask Mom Janine, who seems to know yeah, really the okay. answer. You know, I want all of you to have an analytical mind, no? You should understand. Okay. Yeah. Uh, no, definitely, the tongue, mo, Sir Michael, is not is not red, right? It's a bit swollen. Almost blue. Almost blue. Swollen, yes. Swollen. It's connected to uh, <laughs> prostate. 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 <clears throat> okay, so that <laughs> means... Okay, ano nangyari? Ano yeah. nangyari? Uh, do you have a, a strong heart or, a, or a, do you have a weak heart or a weak kidney? So when you say weak kidney... A weak kidney. The weak kidney cannot put down the fire, cannot cool the fire. So, mangyayari, or if you have a weak heart, cannot warm the kidney. Can you follow? Does it make, am I talking sense, Mom Janine? So, my question is, let, let's ask uh, Sir Michael to answer this. 
Why is your tongue swollen? Because it it, it um got it. Is it because the... you have a weak heart or you have a weak kidney? A weak kidney swollen. Ni mo pa rin gets. Mm -mm. Pag swollen ka ba? Are you feeling cold? Are you feeling heavy? Or you feel hot? Mm. Di ba sabi ko marami kang phlegm? Hot. Tsaka hot. Kung blue ka na nga eh. No? Opo. Ganun bang mainit na pulang-pula? You, do you know what I'm talking about? Can you get me? So, uh, di ba earlier? At, at that is on the... Di ba? Opo. Uh, at at yung, ang pinag-usapan yung, yung dulo ng dila is uh, redis. No, do not already... just focus on the dulo ng dila. Focus, get a bigger picture. That's only for people or whose knowledge is so, ano, so limited. Don't focus hmm. on the dulo ng dila. It's true that the tip of the heart, the tip of the tongue represents the heart. But we're talking about the whole tongue here. Eventually, when you have a heart issue, the whole thing, the whole system will be affected. Diba? Yeah. Yun. Whether you have a weak heart or weak kidneys, you will still have palpitations. Because if your kidneys are weak, that means it cannot contain the fire. Can you follow? Pakulti lang yung water mo. But yung case mo, nagkakaroon ka ng swelling, right? Apo, apo. Hmm. So what does that mean? <coughs> Your heart is weak. weak. Yes. From, yeah, more water siya, Doc. Yeah. And uh, why did I ask him to press the lung one? Because heart and lungs, they're inseparable. Okay? They belong to the same... Uh, we call it the... We call it... I forgot about it. Yung... Uh, What's the what the, what kind of cheese that the uh, basta nandun siya heart of course you belong nasa isang ano magkatap magkaano nga lang sila they they work together right the heart and the lung so for people with heart issues you'll also have lung issues which is precisely what happened to you so if the lung is affected you also like affect the spleen okay so now you could see the okay. impact of having a very weak heart Ano na lang natira? Fever. <laughs> Very informative. Yes. Actually, hindi din natira yung liver because uh, the kidney and the liver, they need each other. They have a mutual uh, mutual agreement. Like, uh, di ba kaya nakasalamin si ano? Napasalamin si... <laughs> Meron kang liver blood deficiency. Napasalami ka. Liver nourishes the heart, diba, Doc? Ha? Wood nourishes fire. Yes, wood nourishes fire. Wood is the mother of fire. Yeah. But uh, in, in his day, I don't think he's the type who is so galit. It's just that he has probably liver blood deficiency. Diba? Ay, uh, kumusta pa yung pulses mo? Are they deep? Why did I ask that? Because if you have a deficiency, hindi mo mapifeel yung pulses mo. Yeah. Deep po. Deep and deep. Deep and siya. Deep. Malalim. Malalim po talaga. Okay, of course. You have deficiency. Make sense? Yeah. Apo. Can you feel your pulses on the on the heart and lungs? Medyo malalim do eh. Malalim talaga. But tinan mo yung liver mo and spleen. Ramdam mo, di ba? Opo. Pero yung sa heart and medyo malalim talaga. Liver mo nga lang chine-check mo eh. Hmm. You haven't even checked your spleen. <laughs> anyway, when we see each other, I'll try to teach you how to do it. 
uh, it's so important, no? Uh, I actually teach patients how to monitor their pulses. So, iba talaga na, you know, na amaze. Okay, anyway. Kasi you need to make sure na balance. Oh Thank you for that. Okay. Yo, do you feel cold, Sir Michael? Opo. See? Hmm. Are you excited, Mom Janine? Now you can mm -hmm. see the picture. <laughs> Will Baguio be a good place for somebody like Sir Michael to stay? No, so not at the moment. <laughs> so if wala siyang choice but to live in Baguio, on, what would you Come advise on. him to do? <laughs> he has to cover up. <laughs> <laughs> now you know. Okay, let's continue, Paul. Sir Michael, lung primary channel traverses the thinner eminence to terminate at what? What's the last point of the lung channel? Is the radial side of the thumbnail. Okay. Or the radial side of the thumbnail. Lung, lung 11. So, okay, so can you tell me the five shoe points of the lung channel? Five shoe points of the channel. Lung 11 is your? Pipes. Jingwell, right? When do you use Jingwell, Jingwell points? Jingwell point free, free from uh, regular the lungs, chi, clear the heat. No, 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 no. And open In the general, channel. When do you Jingwell use Jingwell? From the Jingwell is going uh, good for okay. the heart. For, uh, for sensations of fullness yeah. below the heart. Yeah, fullness below the heart. Okay, when do you use lung 10? What is the key word in lung 10? Lung 10 is what? Ying spring Ying or shoe spring? spring? Ying spring. Ying spring. Ying spring. Ying spring. Ying spring. When do you use it? What's the key word? What's the... What's the... the fire. If, fire. For heat. Yeah. About, fire. Okay, what about uh, so what's the next point? What's the yuan source point of the lung? Lung 11. Lung 9. Bakit ay bumalik sa lung 11? Lung, nine. lung 11 is lung nine. the jing well. Lung 10 lung nine. is ying spring. Ying spring. Ying spring. Sabi ninyo, we use it for heat. Okay? Ang ititagdagan natin. Di ba usually pag may sore throat ka or inuubo ka, you yeah. use lung 10. Yung spring point balance is fire and water. Yes. Um, and then, mm -hmm. uh, what about, what's the next point? You want source point of the lung? Just the spring point? Lung 9. Lung 9. Lung nine. What is lung the yuan nine. source point for? Okay, by the way, for your revalida, you will have time. Sige, mag-review tayo. Lahat ng mga ano, you would know how to answer, ha? Oo, kasi we all, we hope all of you can pass. And it's just like, why did you use this point? Manay mo, mas marunong ka pa sa nag-gay ng quest. <laughs> you have to justify. Okay, what's the whole thing point of the Ano yung hosi point ng lang? Lang 11. Lang 11. Lang 11. Lang 5. Lang 5. Lang 5. Lang 5. So what's the Jing River point of the lang? Lang 8. Lang 8 po. Lang 8. Lang 8. Lang 3. 11, 10, 9, 8, 5. Okay, let's go to number 55. <laughs> The branch of the lung primary channel separates from the main channel at lung 7 at styloid process and travels directly to where? Radial side of the tip of the index finger raised to the large intestine channel. And I, and I, LI1. LI1. Very good. Lung primary channel connects with what Zhang Fu? Three some organ, a stomach, a large intestine, and the lungs. Very good. 
the lung luo connecting channel separates from the lung primary channel at where? Lick or lung seven? Yeah. So what's the luo connecting point of the lung? Lung seven. Channel lung is the palm and they spread to the tinal inlet. Ano bang ginagawa ng loop connecting? Does, does it lung is yin, di ba? Does it sedate the yin or does it tonify the yin? Okay, read about it. <laughs> what are Luo connect? Okay. Connect one one point to another po. Uh, no. from sang from what is it for? From yin to yang, yang, uh. Interior the exteriorly related organs. Yes. So my question is uh, if what does lung seven do? Does it tonify the teen organ or does it sedate it? So, syempre, uh, when you use lung 7, you're actually impacting the large intestine. Large intestine. Diba? So, my question is, what does it do with lung 7? Does it tonify it? So, when you tonify lung 7, nagiging mas yin siya, what happens to the large intestine? Lesser yang. Do you follow? So, do we tonify the yin or do we sedate the yin? We tonify the yin. Okay. Tonify the yin. Okay, let's go to number 58. The lung luo connecting channel follows the lung channel into the where? At the palm, the spread palm. through the inner eminent. Then connects with the LI channel. Okay. Yeah, Nine. Lung primary channel connects with paulit ulit, where the stomach, the large intestine, <laughs> and the lung. The lung, the lung and, uh, channel diverges from the lung primary channel at the axilla, and what happens next? Passes anterior to the heart, channel to the chest. So it's connected to the heart. Very good. Yeah. Okay, so let me ask you, how are you going to treat yourself, Sir Michael? Or what will you tell your yeah. acupuncturist? Yeah. Apo po, sa heart, marami. Okay, let's ask. Ang ginagawa ko po, I'm just doing the the stomach 36, the spleen. Uh, as ako na po talaga ginagawa ko in, in my place. Okay. So I try to uh, needle the my forehead. There's a lot Do you of feel here. cold, Sir Michael? Uh, a little bit po. How is she? Um, Opo. Okay. Uh, malamig po rito kasi sa amin eh. Pag madaling araw. Ikaw lang yata nalalamig pa. Uh, Anyway, so maraming salamat. So try to figure <laughs> out, make use of what we have learned. Thank you very much, Sir Michael. Now let's go to Ma'am Lynn. Good evening. Thank you, thank you. Doc, good evening po. Okay, a branch of thank the you, lung channel ascends from the lung, emerges at the supraclavicular fossa and... Ascends across the throat and converges with the large intestine. Okay. That's why it's so effective. For... Kaya nawawala yung boses <laughs> Number 62, LI primary channel begins where? At the radial side of the tip of the index finger. Oh, I want. Okay. Where does the large intestine primary channel pass through? What interspace okay. between? Between the first and second metacarpal bones at LI4. Very good. 
The LI primary channel reaches a depression between the tendons of extensor pollicis longus and brevis fold. The anatomic cell snuff box is also LI5. Okay. This is a stop smoking point. Yes. Um, LI primary channel continues along the lateral aspect of the elbow at what point? At LI11. The LI primary channel rises along the lateral aspect of the upper arm to the shoulder joint at? LI15. Okay, these points, these are actually considered to be very good points. I hope you were able to open um your yung mga sa ano ha, module 6 because <clears throat> oh my god, I have something. Okay, for okay. those who are really into kasi treatment principles na po tayo ha. So, time for you to really level up. Um treatment strategies. So we expect you to have mastered the pattern differentiation. Okay? <laughs> the LI primary channel rises along the lateral aspect of the upper arm, LI15. <clears throat> LI primary channel crosses behind the shoulder to the depression between the scapular spine and lateral extremity of clavicle at what point? <clears throat> LI16. Very good. LI primary channel travels in the medial direction, passing through SI12 mm -hmm. in the center of suprascapular supra fossa to what point? <laughs> to do 14. Okay, very good. Do not forget do 14. What's the importance of do 14? Do 14 is the... It's the meeting point. The meeting point. Of the young the channel, young no? Ng hand and foot. Five young channels of the hand so, and foot. So, grabe ang impact ng do 14. Yeah. 69. From do 14, the LI primary channel enters a supraclavicular fossa in the region of stomach 12 and connects with? With the lung before descending through the diaphragm to join with the large intestine. The LI primary channel branch ascends from supraclavicular fossa along the lateral aspect of the neck, then passes through the... Passes through the cheek and enters the lower gums. Okay. From the gums, we have a branch of LI primary channel that passes through what point to curve around the upper lip? It passes through stomach four. Very good. From do 26, you know where do 26 is, the left channel travels to the right side of the nose at what point? LI20. Very good. At LI20, the LI channel joins what channel? The stomach channel. Now you know. Yes. Mom Janine, do you know how to needle LI20? <sighs> Very masakit good. Masakit yung dog. <laughs> Hindi masakit. There's a technique. <laughs> Trust me. I <laughs> seldom <laughs> hear people scream. Uh, what ka, oh, wala, hindi sila nag, ano, there's a technique. I hope I can teach you how to do it. Na hindi siya masakit. No? Hindi ko pa siya nasubok sa, ako mag-needle sa sarili ko. Pero ilang beses na po ako pinutusukan dyan, masakit siya eh. Ay, nako. Masakit do eh. Di ba sa actually? Masakit. No, hindi siya masakit, masakit dapat. Siya. You're doing huh? it wrongly. I've observed some of you needle it wrongly. Okay, nakagano'n hmm. kayo eh. Dapat pa ganon. Can you feel the ba may butas yan dyan? Yeah. Oh. At saka dapat konti, lagi, kung nasasaktan lang, gamitan mo ng tube. Hindi naman umaaray mm -hmm. mga pasyente. So the LI primary channel is a branch that descends to what point? Descends to stomach 37. Okay. So, stomach 37 is the lower hussy point no, of the stomach. The point of the gallbladder. The LI primary channel meets with other channels That's, at? That's stomach block 38, 36 on stomach block. LI primary lung channel one, meets with? LI1 for LIN lung and REN24 where LIN conception vessel or the REN vessel. Okay. So LI1 and REN24. LI, una una, it will meet with stomach 4. It will meet with other primary channels at stomach 4. Remember those points? Mm -hmm. okay. You know where stomach 4 is? 
in line here. Uh, Ganun mo. Sa gilid ng bibig. Yeah. Um, stomach 12. You know where stomach 12 is? Sa shoulder. SI12. No, SI12. SI12 sa scapula. Do 14. Do 14, 7, 30. Do 26 and REN 24. 76. The LI, Luo Connecting Channel, begins at what point? At LI6. Okay. LI, Luo Connecting Channel, divides in the cheek. One branch will connect with the teeth, the other entering the ear to join the... To join the what? Zongmai. Zongmai. Zong what is the Zongmai? This is where the channels of the large intestine, stomach. So, magkasabay talaga si stomach, si large intestine, the small intestine and gallbladder and SJ gather and collect in the ear. The LI divergent channel separates from LI primary on the hand and it sends the arm to the shoulder to what? At, uh, ascends the arm to the shoulder at... LI-15 and Very traveling good. Li into the spinal column. LI, the virgin channel, crosses the supraclavicular fossa and then it descends to where? It descends to the thorax, breast, lung, and large intestine. Very good. Thank you very much, Ma'am Lynn. Congratulations. Good job. From the looks of it, mukhang masyado kayong magaling. All of you. Ay, hindi po do. Okay, maraming salamat po. Now let's go to Mom Angel. Mom Angel, are you still awake? Mom Angel. And nag-message yata yung kanina. Hello, Doc. Good evening po. Good evening, classmate. Yeah, good evening. Okay, a branch of LI Virgin Channel. Doc. Doc. Opo. Good evening po. Yes, good evening. Okay, can you con okay? A branch of the LI divergent channel ascends from where? Hello? Ano nangyari? Can you hear us? Hello, Doc? Yeah, what happened? Bakit para nakaka stress? Oh, Okay. Nawawala si Angel. Nawala siya. Oh, sige, sige. Let's continue. A branch of the... Bakit ang pangit ng signal dyan? Nawawala siya. Mahina yung signal mo. Ano ba nangyari? Ay. Pause mo dyan. Hello po. Sorry po, Doc. Can you start a branch of the... Okay na po, Doc. Oh, sige po. Yes po, Doc. Oh, sorry po. A branch of the LI Divergent Channel ascend from supraclavicular fossa along the throat and unites with the large intestine primary. So, ano yung pinaka-importante point at that stage? Channel. Okay, let's go. LI po. LI po. Conception vessel arises below REN3 in the uterus in females. Can you tell us the location of REN3? One tune below the umbilical. Um, one below the umbilical. One tune below below the umbilical cord. Huh? Umbilicus po. Fourteen. Rent three is fourteen. Rent fourteen. Rent fourteen. Below. 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 Below the umbilical cord. Ilang tune. 
four. Fortune po. Are you sure? Yes, so for, when three is fortune, when four is three tune below. Baligtad po yung doc. Okay, can you answer this? Conception vessel arises below REN3 in the uterus in females and lower abdomen in males. Emerges in what point in the perineum? REN1 po, Doc. REN1. Emerges at REN1 po. Papo. Conception primary channel ascends along the midline of the abdomen, chest, throat, and jaw, terminating at what? REN24 REN po, Doc. The interior portion of the conception primary vessel channel winds around the mouth, connects with GV at Pocket ang hina ng signal John. There's something wrong with your signal. Twenty eight and terminates below the oh, doc, sorry po. Okay. Hello, doc. Sige, sige. Please. Clear na po ba? Clear na, clear na. Okay. Yung camera, okay, sige. Sorry, doc. Okay po. Number 84 po, Doc, at do 28 and terminates below the eye at stomach 1. Okay. So a branch of conception primary channel arises in the pelvic cavity. And what does it do next? So paakyat yan, di ba? And, and ascends uh, back in the spine. Opo. Along, along the back in the spine, Pudo. Conception, the loo connecting vessel, the loo connecting channel of the conception vessel descends from what point? From? I'm going to show it. deficient yung signal. Hi. Okay, can we call somebody okay. else? Descend from REN15 in um from REN15 REN15 Okay, number 87 87 po The governing vessel or dumai originates in the lower abdomen emerge at the perineum at REN1 REN1? I do one for doc, sorry. Do one. Governing vessel na yan. It's okay. The do primary channel runs posteriorly along the midline of the sacrum and interior of spinal column to what point at the nape of the neck? Um, um do 16 po doc. Okay, how do you needle do 16? Pa ano doc? Uh... Pababa, pataas, or perpendicular? Pababa, pababa po, Doc. Pababa po. Okay, hindi siya pwede pataas. Kasi po matatamaan po yung uh, ob medula o blong gata. Well, very good. Great. He knows. Okay. The do primary meridian enters the brain then ascends to the vertex. Na very popular at at do 20 po, Doc. Very good. The do primary meridian descends along the midline of the head to the bridge of the nose and philtrum at? At do 26. Can you point to us do, where do 26? Do 26 po. Okay. <laughs> Ay, alam na natin yan. Do primary channel terminates at what area? Terminates at the junction of the upper lip and the gums. Okay. Where does the do meridian branch originate? Um, originates po, Doc, in the lower abdomen po. Okay. The do meridian branch descends to genitals and perineum and winds around the anus 
ascends the interior spinal column and enters the enter the uh, kidney pudo. Okay. The do vessel branch originates in the lower abdomen, winds around the external genitalia, and ascends to the middle of the umbilicus, then passes through the passes through the heart pudo. Okay, bakit ganito yung connections nila? Ano impact nito? What this is trying to tell us, like what is called the Mingmen fire. Remember that point? Na nasa gitna ng bladder 23? Diba bladder 23 is a box of the kidneys? So why are we talking about this? Pumupunta sa heart, sabi mo. Yung isa naman, it enters the kidneys. What is this telling us? Is there a connection? Yes, po daw. <laughs> um, Again, pag yung, pa, yung tao, mahina ang kidneys, what do you expect to see in the tongue? Okay, meron eh. Pag um, pagka mahina po yung kidney stock, doc, ma, yung tang din niya, uh, mapapansin natin problema rin sa heart. Makikita ang itsura ng tang. Um, yung itsura ng tang po, doc, um, red. Okay. May yin deficiency. Uh, Tapos yung Mm -hmm. uh, yung, uh, po, and the tip of the tongue is uh, maybe red na rin po. Okay, very good. And, uh, po, and po. parang ahas po yung, oh. ano niya, yung tongue niya. So automatic, pag nakita mo pula yung tongue, mahaba, mahina ang uh, kidney, po. right? Yes po, do, kasi uh, connected us, po si kidney and heart. Uh, oh. uh, ibig sabihin, pag mahina si kidney, kulang yung water, yung yin niya to... Yes po, yes po. Fire. Very good. Apo, ah, siya po kasi nagkukul kay heart po eh, si kidney po. Okay, sa case ni Sir Michael na mahina ang heart, what do you ah, expect po. to find? Um, Ang mapafind ko po sa tongue niya, um, maybe, uh, I think his tongue is ano po, um, uh, pahaba like ahas and uh, red, red tip. And also, yun po, yun po, yung okay. kidney niya po. Okay, so, ibig ko sabihin, yung finding mo sa mahina ang kidney, sa mahina ang heart, puro mahaba ang dila? Uh, ano po, uh, pagka sa kidney po kasi, Dok, uh, may kita rin po sa ano eh, malalim, lubog yung sa mata. No, I'm talking about the tongue. Uh, Kasi mo kangina, pag mahina yung kidney, we Apo, red na rin po yung tangdo. Apo. O so ngayon, sinabi mo rin na pag mahina Apo. ang heart, red din yung tang. Apo. So how do you tell which is which? Um, which? I think you... pag ma-check ma sa tang lang pa, Doc, or pwede ding i-check din yung pulse. Okay, ano pa ang uh, nagagawa ng heart sa kidney? Heart is fire, right? Yes po, doc. So, what does it have to do? Like how can it help the kidneys? Ano pang kailangan um, ng kidney kay heart? Ah, okay, okay. So, doc na medyo nagets ko na po. So, kung yung kidney po ang may uh, diperensya, uh, sa tingin ko magkakaroon po ng ano uh, cold yung tang niya so parang magiging uh, bluish and swollen so pag ang kidney may diperensya ibig sabihin mahina no yes po most of the time it's deficient yung kidneys yes so, po so do you think matutulungan niya si heart um hmm. pag mahina po si magkakaroon ng heart deficient fire. Uh, apa, magkakaroon yun po yun yung sinabi mo kanina fire, diba? magkakaroon ng heart fire you know? may mapula yung yes, mapula yung dila apa, apa. because hindi kaya Nya ng makul kidney na ma-offset yung ma-cool down yung fire apa. okay so kang then sinabi mo din na if the heart is weak yes, part of the kidney 
you will also have the same tongue picture. Yes po. Why is it so? Um, kasi po, kulang, kulang sa heat. Ang tingin ko kasi, kapag, uh, kapag, uh, kumbaga sa pagiging partner nila, kailangan nila yung isa't isa doke. Eh. So kung, kung may problema si kidney, hindi na niya makukula si heart. So automatic mag-heart fire. Ganon okay. din po naman si, apo, ganon din naman po si heart, si kidney. Kapag uh, si si heart naman ang may problem, hindi rin naman niya mabibigyan ng uh, yeah. init si kidney. So, so parang magkakaroon din ng... ng so, hindi siya magiging red, kulang sa heat yun. Eh. Apo. So, magiging... Okay. Uh, so, magiging... so ano mangyayari? So iba siya, di ba? Ah, okay po. Apo, apo. Okay. Bak apo, apo. Bakit yung, apo. yung pang ni, ano, ni, ni Sir Michael swollen? Bluish. Bluish? Apo, swollen, so, bluish. bluish. Kasi may cold. Kasi oh, may cold po. So ano yung problema niya? Yung heart niya o yung kidney niya? Initial mm -hmm. um, primary problem. Primary oh, problem. Yung heart niya. Um... I think si ano pa rin dok eh. si kung blue ang tang I think si heart pa rin dok ang primary niya Kasi hindi man niya mabigyan ng blue and ng wet toxic and cooking Um swollen and wet po wet din po yung tang Mhm mm Opo so, so, sa tingin ko may problem na rin po kay spleen Of course yeah So anong relationship ng spleen sa heart? Si spleen po may problema na rin po. Kasi kung swollen, yan apo, swollen and wet tang so nagii-indicate na po siya ng dampness. So you're talking about spleen deficiency tapos heart blood deficiency? Ganun ba 'yon? Kasi swollen siya eh. So definitely mahina kasi mother man ni heart mother man ni spleen si heart di ba Do you agree? Ah sige wag masyadong mag-isip. Ganun lang 'yan. Okay, I'd like to ask Ma'am Janine, did you get the logic behind it? Yes, doc, I I believe so. Now you know. Uh, uh, <laughs> spleen chi deficiency uh kung weak ang ang heart yung apo apo Okay. Would you like to make any comments? Why why are we focusing here? And dami po kasing mahina ang heart. Okay? Apa. And we would like you to be very good at determining which came first. Was it a weak kidney Apa. or was it a weak heart? Because one thing Tama naman. to another. Right? Apa. Apa. Para... The weak oh, heart because it's it's swollen. It's swollen because the heart is weak. It cannot provide yeah. the fire that yes. the that the water element, the kidney water element needs. Because yes. the kidneys are very sensitive to cold, right? Yes. Yes, pa. You need the the assistant. You need the heart to no, to uh, no, to put the heat. Yeah. Okay? Okay. Yeah. What else? Um, will you have palpit? How would how would you distinguish between uh, a heart aside from yung sa tongue? Uh, okay. Yes, po. So, kung, kung may heart problem po, Doc, uh, automatic meron po siyang palpitation. Pla tapos, uh, sa speech naman po, Doc, ano, um, parang na-stammer po siya. So is there a and also may Okay kasi yes, yung, yung sinasabi mo kasi is heart kin deficiency na, 'di ba? So pag may heart kin deficiency ka, saan nagmula yung yin deficiency? Um heart No, heart kin deficiency. Sa nanga. Sa yung heart kin deficiency. Saan nagmula? Um Okay. Let, let me sa spleen po, Doc, sa tingin ko, kay spleen. 
Ang yun deficiency. Liver, no? Liver. When you say yin deficiency, you or, can control I, the yang, right? The yin is okay. too weak to control the yang, so there's too much yang. Actually, when you have heart issues, ke yang deficiency yan or yin deficiency or blood deficiency, you will always have palpitations. Okay? So, pag okay. nakita mo, malamig na yung kamay, mal malamig na yung paa, okay. yang deficiency. going to confirm yeah. using the pulse. Um, in, yung pulse. yung pulse po niya is slow. Okay. What the yang deficiency po, deep and weak pulse. Yeah, at saka hindi siya pwedeng tumira sa bagyo. Kasi ka ka deficient na siya to start with. So what I'm saying yeah. is, kung wala ka ng choice but you have to stay in bagyo, you have to do moxa, right? Apa, apa. Moxa po. Okay. So I hope that makes sense. Yeah, but Doc, yes, but. But doc yeah. you asked Karina, so what happened? Why is the heart weak? Yeah. To answer Why that. Why is the heart weak? Mm -hmm. What makes the heart weak? Are we looking at an organ again, Doc? Tama ba? Yes, of course, yeah. So let's. It all boils down to chi deficiency. Okay? When you talk about chi deficiency, you're actually talking about a very weak functioning of the organ. Okay? And most of the time, when you have. Pag medyo maipad na yung pasyente, definitely you will be thinking of a kidney issue. Apo. Weak kidney po. Yeah. The essence. Can you have kidney yin deficiency and kidney yang deficiency at the same time? Yes. Um, Possible po, Doc, yes. But one should be more than the other, right? Yes po, yes po. Of course, hindi naman pwedeng puro ka lang kidney yin deficiency. Kasi the kidneys, you know, tao ka lang. But one is, ano, like, mas predominant yung kidney yang deficiency. So, meron kang kidney yin deficiency then. So, if you have kidney yang deficiency, definitely, you will affect other organs. Right? At saka, ano eh, um, this will all depend on how good your spleen is. So, kung puro damas yung kinakain mo, so, definitely, You'll expect issues talaga. What else will make your chi deficient? When you worry too much. When you think. Overthinking. It depletes the chi. Okay, meron din tayong tinatawag na it nuts the chi. Worrying, no, no? Okay, but anyway, that's another story. Tapusin na natin to. So, let's go to number 95. Oh, Passes to the heart and ascends the throat, throat, winds around the mouth and ascends to? Ascends to uh, the middle of the eyes, below the middle of the eyes. Okay, yeah, this is the reason why some people. Hmm. Okay, they improve. By, by the way, what's the color of the kidney? How would you know if someone has kidney issue just black. by looking at the face? Uh, the color of the kidney is black. No? Yeah, black. Yung mga grabe yung mga eye bags. Yung mga... There are those who are born with it already. Um, okay. Okay. The next Medyo one. The dark black black or gray. Yes. So, do you think we can help these people? Yes, po, doc. Okay. Para makonfirm natin ang kidney talaga ang may. Kasi it could either be na nagalit siya. So, liver yang rising, liver chi stagnation, which can also affect the heart, right? Does it make sense? So you can, it's so difficult to tell. And yes. all you have to do now is to know 
yung mga source points, yuan source points. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, one, one, ano din dyan, good indication for a weak kidney. Of course, aside from the age, lalo na pag 50-60 na, kidney na yan. Tingnan mo yung kidney 3 niya, medyo mapayat siya. Kidney 3. Okay? You know where kidney 3 is, of course. Grabe yung payat. And there's also the element of stress. Okay? So let's go to... Uh, sige, tapusin na natin to. Anong answer mo dito? The do vessel branch emerges at bladder 1, follows the bladder channel bilaterally along the forehead, and the bilateral branches converge at the vertex. Um, do, be, do 15 po, Doc. Do 16. Ah, do 16. And finally, do do, do Luo channel arises at... One. Do 1 po, Doc. Okay, very do good. Do 1 po. So let's end this. But before we end, gusto ko, i-exercise yung mga utak nyo. Okay. Let's let's go to the real... You need to know these things. I know you're tired now, but uh, since this is the last week for the module we would like to end this with yung what you encounter in daily uh daily practice no in your practice pala sorry okay uh let's talk about uh, how does kidney yin deficiency happen can you give us mom joy okay ganito we all have to work to survive, right? Yes, Doc. Hmm. Um, is there such thing as overwork affecting the kidney? Yes, yes, Doc, definitely. So what happens to the kidney? It nag we weaken siya, Doc, and and so hindi na siya. Paano ba yeah, explain yun in TCM way? But like kaniyan, Doc. In everyday, ano? Okay. O parang na didip yung function niya. Okay. Mga baba in terms of yun 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 Nakapa, yung parang naging scantina, tapos, Doc, nawala ka. Wait, sorry. Actually, nawala ka. Okay, I would like you to be familiar with how everything would evolve from one thing, from one condition to another. Para medyo alam nyo na, this is in preparation for your clinical work. No? So when you talk about chi deficiency, okay, let's start with chi deficiency first. What exactly do you mean by that? Yes, Doc. Chi deficiency. The the the, the chi the overall chi doc um the deplete na. <clears throat> well, it's going. Uh, deplete, kulang la. Oh, nag-add na. So what is, what na is the, the the symptom that you have to watch out for? Di ba pag sinabi mong chi, that's energy. The symptom. So when you say chi deficiency, you have weak energy. Yes. So what are you going mm -hmm. to extract from the patient? What symptom? You don't have to weak, weak or. Uh, tiredness, lethargy, lethargy, like everything that's yeah, lethargy, though. like before, fatigue. Okay, yun yun. Yes, sir. And so, if you do not address the chi deficiency, so basically, what do you see on the tongue? Are you going to see something in the tongue already? Something unusual? With well, chi deficiency, no, no, not so no. much. Some people will see yeah. marks, but it's because mahina yung muscle, so mm. you, know, you take the shape of your teeth. Now, if you do not address the chi deficiency, yes. what happens next? Ano ba yung, ano ba yung, ano Mag-aano siya sa organs, though. The organs are gonna start 
to oh, let's talk about the pattern. Take on yung what what comes oh. next after chi deficiency? Ano ba ang una? Hindi mo na-treat si chi deficiency. Like when you talk about chi, are you talking about young here? Di ba chi is young, right? And you need chi to move blood, right? If you do not correct the chi deficiency, nakaka-blood deficiency. You become cold. Yeah, you become or, bye, bye, bye. you feel cold, right? Yeah. Ano na tawag do? Young deficiency. So when you say young deficiency, it's basically chi deficiency plus cold symptoms. Do you agree? Yes, doc. Okay. What happens in young deficiency? Hindi na tumatakbo yung dugo, right? Okay, what are other possibilities? Will you have blood deficiency when you have chi deficiency? Yes, of Possibly, though. I mean, it will, it will lead blood. to that. You can, yeah, because you need chi to move the blood. So, kung walang chi, there is no blood. blood. Wala rin blood. blood. Yeah. Okay, so magkakaroon ka ng blood yeah. deficiency. You will look, your tongue will look pale and thin. What else? And dry. Dry ka na. This is not similar to young deficiency. So young deficiency, kulang ka ng young, so your tongue is swollen, it, your tongue is wet. Right? Swollen. And it is sometimes a thick coating. Oh, no. So with the with the blood deficiency, the tongue is dry. So ngayon hindi mo pa rin na correct yung blood deficiency. What comes next? You're going to what encompasses the blood? ng the blood. fluids, body fluids. Blood. Under what umbrella does blood fall and un uh, fall? Blood is yin. yin deficiency. Diba? Yin ang blood de, together yeah. with other fluids, with body fluids. So, blood initially, kukulang ka ng blood, right? Diba? Yes, do. So, eventually, pag lumala yan, pati yung body fluids mo magtutuyo na. So, yes, you do. now have yin deficiency. Magkakaroon ng yung kidney essence Na. You actually lack nutrients. So where does a person with yin deficiency turn to? Saan ba yung storage natin ng essence? Kidney, dog. Kidney. kidney, yeah, stores the essence. Now what does the essence consist of? Pre heaven and post heaven. Yes, we have the congenital essence or the pre-heaven essence, whatever you call it. It's, it's actually your DNA. That's something that you cannot change. But we also have another type of essence called the acquired essence, which will all depend on how you nourish your, your spleen yeah. and stomach, right? The core. So it doesn't mean that you have cancer, you cancer ka na rin ulit. So basically, when you talk about essence or gene, you're referring to both congenital, and acquired essence. Acquired essence is your chance to really, what? Do something. You get it? So, it you actually turn yes, your kidneys for more yin. Kasi kulang ka ng yin. What, what is mm. affected pag yung kidney mo nagkaroon ng yin deficiency? So, initially, it's actually the liver, right? Liver, blood. Liver, blood. blood. Liver blood yes. is needed. Okay, pag nagkulang ka ng liver blood, kukuha siya, magihiram siya kay kidney yin. Right? And you need yes. blood also to nourish the kidney yin. Do you follow? Ngayon, kulang ka na ng kidney yin. Saan pupunta yan? Magkakaroon ka na ng kidney S mm. deficiency. Yes, doc. 
And uh, when you look at the tongue, may makikita kang depression na. Right? Okay, what happens to the coating of the tongue when you have yin deficiency? Nawawala na daw. Nawawala ng coating. What is the first sign that you are going to look for in the tongue? We have the so-called rootless coating okay. of the tongue, the okay. stomach area. What do you mean by rootless? Meron kang carpet, nagkaroon na ng butas. Can you see the connection? Yes. So, initially, you will have stomach chi deficiency. And then, pag nagkaroon na, wala na yung coating, magkakaroon ka na ng stomach yin deficiency. Do you follow? And when you have stomach yin deficiency, you will have kidney yin deficiency or vice versa. If you have kidney yin deficiency, you will also affect the stomach yin. Does it make sense? Okay, it will take several years for the yin deficiency. Pag sinabi mong yin deficiency, the tongue is still pale. Okay? What happens pag red na yung tongue? Meron na siyang empty heat. Why? Why, why is there empty heat? Because the yin deficiency, na deplete na yung yin, nag-dry Una-una una, nagkaroon ng dryness, right? So magkakaroon ng yes. then magkakaroon ng fire, right? You follow? Mm -hmm. So red na siya. And remember, fire doesn't stay like that forever. What is the impact of fire? What happens in the meaning of the stagnation? Yes, nagkakaroon ngayon. Heart blood deficiency. Nagkocongeal yung, yung phlegm. Yung, ano, yung body fluids mo. Magkaroon ka na ng phlegm. You follow? Initially, dampness yan. Does it make sense? Kasi, young doesn't stay young forever. Nor does yin stay yin. For example, when you have dampness, that's excess yin. Pag hindi mo na address yung yin, hindi mo na tanggal, hindi mo na hindi na karon ng transportation, you will develop heat. Okay? Sangga sa magiging yin deficient na ulit, dok. Okay, that's it. So how do you know if there is heat when you feel the pulse? It's fast. It's fast. But there are two kinds of heat. We have empty heat. Empty and full. Full heat. Siyempre, opposite ng empty is full. Okay, talking about empty heat, can you describe the tongue coating in empty heat? Um, Walang tongue coating heat. though. Wala siyang coating. And the color of the tongue is red. Yeah. What about when you have full heat? Or extra yellow heat? Yellow tongue coating. Yellow tongue. Tongue. The yellow coating tongue. is thick. Yellow, dry. There. And how will you well, how would you differentiate the pulse? Masyadong excess yung pulse, masyadong bound, you know, bound. Overflowing pulse. Yes, overflowing. Very good. Overflowing. What about in empty heat? There will be I know. Empty heat rapid and floating very fast floating empty yes now you know my gosh you're very good ano kaya sure nung sato ano karamihan ng mga tao like una una when you when you look at them magmalaki yung chan definitely you have a condition with that's dampness phlegm how what is the difference between dampness and phlegm which came late like what is the dampness first though. Dampness initially then phlegm. So pag phlegm, parang yung yung dila niya is too magulo na, too 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 thick na yung coating, right? Yellow, it's a bit rough. Pag dampness, the thing that will really catch your attention would be the coating. Sticky coating. Okay? Smokers do ang mga yellow yan. Yeah. Yes. And also, you need to really <laughs> ask the patient. Like the, the question that you ask will already determine kung meron ka ng uh meron ka ng initial you know impression. Like for example, 
you're considering phlegm kasi nakita mo yung coating ng yung tongue niya masyadong rough so you're going to ask where does where do the symptoms get worse like when you lie down tapos pag paggising mo you feel heavy the but that's very phlegm that's very dampness and then once they start moving around that's once they start working nawawala na bakit kasi sa gabi we lie down walang movement You follow? Yes, no. Okay, good. Okay, I hope that that makes sense. Any questions? Clear na po. Hmm. Pag medyo maedad na, 50, 60, like tomorrow somebody booked, sabi ko, ano, hindi man tinanong ko ano yung complaint, but from the age, you know, 61, <coughs> alam mo na, So definitely they come to you because they have issues, right? So pag may pain, you definitely think of chest stagnation, blood stagnation, magana. Okay, so I'm taking much of your time. I hope you enjoyed this evening. This is the finale of our week of our module. Question spot. Did everybody have fun? Yes, no. <laughs> um, everybody had some sort of pressure, doc. <laughs> you know, pressure is a good thing. Yes, no. Um, true, true. Pag walang pressure kasi, you wouldn't care. Memorize ka lang na memorize. Pagdating mo sa actual patient, you wouldn't know what to do. <laughs> yeah. Tapos mabubudol ka na lang. Wala. Mm. Diba? So, do not immediately take the pulse of the patient. Allow the, kasi syempre, mainit sa labas. Tapat una-una, umano muna siya. Medyo kumalma muna. Parelax. Parelax mo. And then, uh, you have to observe how he talks. No? How he walks. Yung posture niya. And even the way he shakes your hands. Yun. Ang dami pa. Marami pa kayo. Like, uh, When there's uh, blood stagnation, pag inano mo yung ears niya, ginanon mo, masakit. The more masakit, that's definitely blood stagnation. Oh. Excited. Ito pala ang palpation lang doon. Blood yeah, stagnation. Ears pa lang. Pero, pero syempre nakikita mo, like, oh. you know, they will tell you other pain. So you now think of many causes of pain. Um. Okay, medyo yung mga medyo hindi masyadong magaling, they will just treat the pain. But they will not actually identify the cause. And that's very pathetic. Right? So you need to really know the base, the constitutional uh, the constitution of the patient. And you have to look at it at a very ano, like parang ano, ano ba tawag dito? Bird's eye view, yung ganon. And then you start, you know, working on your differential diagnosis. Yon. So this is not simply memorizing the patterns. It's also about, ganun lang po lahat, paulit-ulit lang yan. And there are many types of diagnosing, uh, you know, determining the, the patterns. So meron tayo according to pathogenic factors, mayroon naman according to um, the eight principles, no? yin-yang, exterior-interior, hot-cold, yung mga gano'n. Yes. Excited, di ba? Mm. Okay na, sige, yung iba nagdadasal na matapos na. So maraming salamat. Congratulations, everyone. <laughs> And uh, can we meet again next? Thank you, Doc. Thank, Thank you. you. So batch two, a batch two, you will have to have a separate uh, meeting na. Um, we'll have a meeting on Monday. Pero yung mga medyo sanay na sa meeting, we'll just give an announcement. Uh, it will be TCM Foundations. And uh, this is not the same assessment as last time. Pwede nyo naman makita sa YouTube how we did the TCM Foundations. Okay, so definitely it's not the same. We try not to repeat. 
<laughs> and thank you so much for your time. And I'm very proud of all of you. And uh, we hope that uh, we are going to be successful. Effort lang po talaga. No? Uh, mm -hmm. This is what makes us different from ano, <laughs> from a not so good person. Okay. Ganun lang po yan. And you have to ask, ask, ask questions. So who's batch to here? We'll see you on Monday for the orientation. And then we will have our first meeting on a Friday. So that would be like uh, April 12. And then on batch one, we will continue with Wednesday. No? So treatment principles on batch one. On batch two is um, TCM Foundations. Thank you very much and good evening. Thank you. Thank po. you. Po. Thank you. Good night. Good night, good night everyone. Good night. And congratulations. Bye, Patch One. Okay, bye bye. <laughs> bye, bye, Patch Two. Okay, magibalay na kayo. Bye bye. Thank you.